Welcome back to MLB Tonight. I'm Robert Flores here alongside with former GM Dan O'Dowd and baseball researcher Sarah Langs. MLB Draft Combine is coming up. It's always an exciting time. Dan, what can we expect? What are you going to be looking for? Well, Robert, for me, this is one of the most important events on the baseball calendar each and every year. If you look at it, all the clubs get a chance to answer the questions they have on the players. And then all the best players in the country get to showcase their skills in front of 30 clubs. So, I mean, I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen. Sarah, it's a four-day event. It's held at Chase Field in Phoenix. What advanced metrics can players and viewers expect to see? I mean, there's so much data with this event. Part of why I love it so much. And I've been there every time yep. this has been held. So glad we're back again. For pitchers, you've got pitch velocity, you've got spin rate, you've got extension. For hitters, we have your exit velocity, launching, and of course, the distance on those home runs. Well, congratulations and good luck to all the young athletes as they continue their journey to hopefully one day land in the big leagues. Welcome to day one of the MLB Draft Combine from Chase Field in Arizona. The top high school and college player prospects showcased their skills this week, giving all MLB clubs another opportunity to evaluate this year's draft class. It should be an impactful few days here in the desert. Alongside Sarah Langs, I'm Dan O'Dowd, and it's time for batting practice. So let's focus on what's happening down in the cage. Sarah, BP started now, and uh, this is where the scouts really, really bear down. They're looking at presence in the box. They're looking at the balance rhythm and timing of the swings. They're looking at how clean a swing path is. They're looking how connected a player can be to a swing. And they're looking at the ability if they can hit the ball the entire field. And there's so much data that comes along with BP. We've got exit velocity, which means we can look at how often the player is hitting the ball hard. In this day and age, hitting the ball hard has an actual definition. That's 95 plus miles an hour. And why do we care about that? Because in today's game, if you hit the ball hard, you're going to hit about 500 on those batting balls with a 1,000 slugging percentage. Another stat we'll look at is launch angle. And what we define as a sweet spot batting ball is 8 to 32 degrees of launch angle, basically a line drive. So I'll be looking at how often these players will be making that kind of contact as well. You know, I think about big league players like uh, Alvarez, Judge, Otani, Trout. Um, their hard hit ball data is crazy. Their launch angles are very, very, very consistent. And you add all the things that we're evaluating and think about, Sarah, the pressure these young players are under right now is probably the most pressure packed BP these players have ever taken in their careers. That's exactly what you want to see in a BP from a scouting perspective. Backspin line drives all over the field, effortless in his power to right center and left center, and tremendous balance and rhythm and timing right throughout his swing. So we're now into outfield play. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite parts of the combine. 
Um, scouts look at this from a variety of different perspectives. They're looking at breaks and angle to the ball, um, which is crucial uh, for above average defensive play. This part of the drill, we're looking at how, how quickly they get to the ball, how under control they are, and the strength of their throws and the accuracy of the throw. Deep down scouting perspective, they're really trying to see the spin on the ball, how clean it is, and so they get that one hop throw into third base and home plate. No, I'm with you on loving this. There's so many different ways to evaluate outfield defense in today's game. Of course, we can measure that arm strength. We can look at that accuracy of those throws, as you were saying. We can also measure speed, which is such an important part of playing the outfield. If you're not fast enough in the outfield to get to that ball, everything else is moot. So we can really measure all different aspects of playing the outfield. And when you, you look at some of these players and then you think about the great right fielders, which is the arm strength position in our game, and you think about Acuna, and you think about Tatis, you think about Kyle Tucker, Jason Hay. With the 29th pick of the 16th round, the New York Yankees select Prince Street, a right fielder from the East Region. As we continue on through the late rounds of this draft, here we have a player that we did.